Hello, my Fireflies, and welcome back to the Cyan Firefly. It's me, Lyette, and today I'm going to walk you guys through a virus named Tom by Misfits Addict. Uh, Addict? Attic. Wow. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my tongue is a little tied tonight. But yes, uh, the guys over at Mis Misfits have uh, been so kind to donate review code to our little YouTube group, so I'm more than happy to review their game for them. Now, A Virus Named Tom is a puzzle game, but I'll get to that in a second, because I wanted to show you guys this options menu. This options menu actually has me kind of annoyed. First off, you might be noticing that there are black borders around the entire game, and I have no control over that. As you can see, this is in 1920 by 1080. Apparently, it just makes the window bigger. It doesn't actually make the graphic bigger so that's really annoying i don't know why they actually have that put in it's kind of deceiving but i guess we're just gonna kind of have to deal with it uh as far as controls go they have a section for controls they tell you what the controls are they actually don't even tell you what all the controls are these are just kind of quick yeah uh, window full screen toggle, quick restart, pause, yeah, it actually doesn't even tell you the controls here, this is kind of an arbitrary selection in the options menu, the only thing that you can control is, uh, controller vibration, if you actually are using a, uh, Xbox controller or something like that. You can also control the volume, so really that's all you have. It does have, uh, local co-op, there is no online co-op. Uh, the versus battle mode is purported to actually make you hate your friends, so that's something to look into if you have a couple of friends you don't want to be friends with anymore. You can also view any of the actual uh, cutscenes you've unlocked while playing the game, but really that's all I have to say about the menu, so let's actually hop in and it will play the storyline for you, so I'm going to shut up for a few seconds and... Listen on in. You have to understand, everything was wonderful. I was creating the future. Metal dogs that didn't poop. I even cured walking. Then I invented Globotron, which would destroy anyone found walking. That's when it happened. Megatech. Crazy, they said. How is that even profitable, they said. And that's when they fired me. Me. Dr. X, me, the inventor of their precious city. Their precious city. Well, I have one last invention for them. Oh, I know they'll love him. I call him Tom. Yeah, so there you go. The entire... World of Tomorrow was created by a mad scientist. He got fired as a result of a couple of his inventions, and now he wants revenge on everybody. And his revenge is basically... It takes the form of this little virus. This little virus goes in and infects various different technologies and stuff like that, and basically makes, light, basically makes uh, the New World Order's way of life a living hell. So... I'm going to show you guys an example of this riveting gameplay. Show you probably one or two levels I've already beaten, and then I'll go on to show you some new stuff. All right. Uh, actually, this isn't a good level. Hold on. That's when they started encrypting stuff. So is this. I'm going to have to go back a little further. Okay, back... Here's a decent level, okay. So, basic elements of the game. You are Tom, you are that little virus moving around right there, and then you have these bug-looking things. Now, these bug-looking things are basically antiviruses. They are made to destroy you. Now, you can't really die, so to speak, but you can run out of power, which is that thing at the top of the screen. If you run out of power, you do lose the level. The entire process the entire point behind this game is to actually finish the circuit okay so yes you have to go along and try to finish the level circuit as it were huh. 
Okay. Okay. Now, I have finished this level already, as I did say, but it's been a little while, so I don't necessarily remember exactly how to beat it. Oh my. Well, maybe if I move this this way, then move this this way, then move this... Whoa! This way. No, that doesn't really work, does it? Huh. See, it's weird because I have beaten this level before. Oh! You know what? I'm just being stupid. There's already stuff here. problem is actually getting these to attach up. Okay, so that's going up there. If I bring this down here, and then just curve that up this way. Yep! Okay, there we go. Not everything has to be linked up. Now, you can actually repeat missions if you so choose to get a higher score. So, you can hop in here and just da-da-da-da-da. Hold on. So, it's all timed. You're, it's basically a score attack mode. Uh, blasted. Okay, so that there. There we go. Ah, blast. So if that happens, you uh, end up getting hit by the... If you end up hit, getting hit by one of those guys, you end up losing uh, a little bit of power, which is not always a good thing. Uh, so there we go. And now my score is a little bit better, as you can see. You've earned a uh, new record, new record. All right, so continue. Get out of here. And you get put on a little bit of a local leaderboard, I guess it is. Not entirely sure how that works. I'm also very much convinced that the top two scores are impossible to beat. Because there is one level where their score is actually higher than the possible maximum score of the level. Figure that one out. Alright. So now we're going to move to some of the new stuff. I just unlocked this level. Hey there. Okay, so we fired some guys over the whole teleporter thing. Hope you're happy about that. We've completely reworked our systems. Your reign of terror ends now. Sorry, can't afford any spin doctors for your messes. We'll miss our little chats. The mega tech management. Alright, well, bring it on. Well, this is new. But I can already see how it works. There we go. Alright. So if I put that down there, then rotate this down this way then perhaps do this and then do this and then do this and then do this yay so yeah they introduce new emergent gameplay as you go along you also can earn skip tokens that's something worth noting all right let's go on now, if I run into those bugs again, I can actually show you something interesting involving those. There we go. Hmm. Well, I can put this going up this way. Switch this this way. Do this down here. Swap this this way. And swap this this way. And then swap this this way! Except no. Do this. Wait. Did this turn? There we go. I screwed something up there. Oh well. Okay. Moving right along. We're doing pretty good though. Ah, here are those bugs. Now, at some point you actually gain these little scramblers, these glitches. And you can put them down. 
and when a bug runs into it, it gets disabled. If another bug runs into it, they both get annihilated. They will return after a little bit of time, but it gives you a little bit of a reprieve. It's a good idea to make sure that you do that when possible. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, bugs everywhere. Bugs, bugs everywhere, but not a drop to drink. Oh boy. I'm not entirely sure how many glitches you get. But it's a good idea to try to use them. Holy crud, that was a little close, don't you think? Um, so if I put this down this way, then what if I did this, and then this, and then this, bugs are reforming, and then this, ho ho, and then this, and then well, this, ow collided with it right at the end there, which did affect my score. That sucks. Oh well. Ooh, Tom has received a new upgrade. Mega Tom designed drones to carry energy reserves. If they can steal our energy, why don't we steal theirs? I've added an upgrade that allows you not only to see, but steal them. You have to get close, just don't get hit. Oh, interesting. Okay, so you can actually gain energy bars this way. See? Like I said, they're at, they add new stuff all the time. Oh my, well, I actually ran out of energy really damn quick there. Blast. Okay, things are going to get a little tricky now, aren't they? Ow. You have to time it just right, too. That's the pain in the butt part. Get as much energy as possible. Oh, that was incredibly easy to complete. Well, there we go. And we got a nice gold medal out of that. But yeah, that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Oh. Well then, that was a big pain in the butt. That, mo that guy moves a lot slower than his uh, compatriots do. Oop. I swear I've already been through this level. Alright. Uh, let's dodge out of the way of you. And ke keep on stealing your energy while I do. Is I am a lovely parasite. But yeah, that's really all the game has in a nutshell. It's pretty fun, don't get me wrong, but it's also a very, very simple concept, and you guys really should check it out. Well, gets a little tense from time to time. You know what? Before I close out here, I should give you guys a couple of seconds to listen to the music, because the music's pretty good, so let me finish off this level. While you guys listen to the very badass music. I'm just getting my ass kicked here. All right, ah. Well, I'm gonna get a fudge. Oh, okay. But as you can see, the music for the title is actually pretty damn good. It's got this nice, nice uh, electronic groove beat to it. Ah. Yeah, it's also worth noting that if you get one of these bugs with one of your glitches you bounce off of them, so... 
if you actually had a vested interest in uh, actually doing something in a particular spot, might be a good idea just to wait for the bug to move on rather than uh, directly confronting them. Hmm. All right. Oh, my glitch disappeared. That was annoying. Give me your energy. There we go. Yeah, little robotic bastards. All right. Put this here. Come on. I forgot to fix this one down here. Very lightning fast reactions. All right. And now we finished this level. Holy hell. Now, I, pro I, d I really wouldn't feel right without showing you guys the big payoff. Now, once you actually finish any of these given levels, uh, these stages, as it were, you completely infect it. Kind of like this, this whole green thing. You're awarded with a very, very special thing. You're awarded with a nice little cutscene to show the effect of what you wanted, what you actually just did there. So, here we go, with the pet of tomorrow, the dog that is immune to pooping, or whatever. Sit! <laughs> Speak! Yay! Roll over! Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah, the... It's it's a pretty funny game. It's got its own sense of humor, and I've been enjoying it quite a bit. So, if you do feel like getting your hands on this little title... Hold on. Sorry, that was my friends list. Oops. Alright, so hop into here. So, if you are interested in picking up a virus named Tom, you can pick it up on Steam. You can get it for about uh, $9.99. You can also get a special soundtrack edition for $11.99, and you can also get the soundtrack itself after you've already purchased the game for $2.99. So it's pretty fun. I would actually recommend picking up the soundtrack because it is pretty neat. If you buy it with the game, uh, it's two, it's a dollar off, so you might as well just do that straight away, but I don't blame you if you just want the game itself. So feel free to try it out. I ignore the meta score. It's actually a pretty fun game. Screw meta scores anyway. All right. But for now, this has been Lyant with a Cyan Firefly, taking out another chunk from the sidewalk of tomorrow. I'll see you all next time. See you later, Fireflies.